Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Welcome to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. Our focus today is spiritual testing. Spiritual testing. Think it not strange that these things are happening to many in the earth. Is now time for the earth to be tried by fire. It's time now that the church be tried by fire. It's spiritual testing time. Think it not strange that these things are happening to many in the earth. It's testing time. Spiritual testing time. Know your place in God. Know that God has called you. Know that God has called you to do a work. Know that he that begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. It's the trying of your faith. Don't let your faith fail you now. Let your faith stay above everything that is coming upon the earth. Get lost in Jesus. He is your covering. He is your defense. These things must occur that many may turn back into the place where God has called them from the beginning before the foundation of the earth. Make up your mind. I'm going to pass the test. I'm going to put my hope in Jesus. Thinking that strange when these things come upon the earth to try the church. It's going to come. It's a spiritual testing time. It's going to begin in the church. Get ready, church, to pass the test, for the time has come that judgment must begin in the house of God. It's going to start with the church. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17, for his testing time. It's going to start in the house of God. Jesus said, my house, my father's house is a house of prayer. But you have converted the house into something else. It's testing time. If, if it is first begin with us, what shall the end be for them that obey not the gospel of God? Look at people who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They have no hope. But you have hope. Your faith is in Jesus. 
Your faith is in the Lord. Your faith is in God. For the testing time, the judgment shall first start in the house of God. So we must be ready. We must be ready to pass the test. There's life test. Choose ye this day who you going to serve. Because of the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? We are barely making it in. The believers are barely making it in. So those who don't know Christ, they have no hope. So wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. He created you. He knows how to keep you. He knows how to bring you into the place that you will be able to serve him in spirit and in truth. So get ready. So beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials where to is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. Look what's going on in the world. Look what's going on. The world is like a drunken man. Come on, it's spiritual testing time. Where is your faith? Put your faith in God. It starts in the house of God. Don't think that these things are strange, but they come to try the church is coming to try the believers as though some strange thing has happened to you. But rejoice! And as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when the glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy. I'm glad to know that I have hope in Jesus. Even though the, these things are coming on the earth, Storms, earthquakes, floods, famine, pestilence, coronavirus, locusts. I'm going to keep my eyes on Jesus. I'm going to believe God. I'm not going to think it's strange. I'm going to believe God. He's able to keep me from falling. He's able to protect me in this hour. He's able to bring me into a place whereby I can depend upon him. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. All because of Christ's sakes. If I'm being attacked or if I'm being persecuted, I'm thanking God. Hallelujah. I'm going to rejoice. But on your part, he is glorified. Even as people speak evil against you. But let none of you suffer as a murder. Don't let the storm come and take you out because you are a murderer. Don't let the coronavirus or an earthquake or any calamity come upon you because you're a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or a busybody in other men's matters. But when, if we suffer as a Christian, let us not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. So Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for the time has come now that judgment must 
start in the house of God. We're not going to fear. We're going to pass the spiritual test. It's testing time. All the fiery dots, all the fiery trials that are coming on the earth, which is, which is to try you. Lord, I thank you. Help me to pass every spiritual test. Help me to pass every spiritual test. I want to pass every spiritual test. Help me, Lord. Lord, send your angels to help me pass every spiritual test. Send your angels. Lord, allow your spirit to help me, guide me through the test. That I may be an example to many, that I may teach transgressors and sinners your ways. Lord, help me to pass the spiritual test that I may strengthen my brethren. That I may speak words over my brethren because I got through the test and I can let them know that God has no respect of person. If I made it through the test, you can make it through the test. Have faith in God. Have the faith of God. Have faith in God so that you may pass the test in this hour. Don't think it's strange for this spiritual testing time. For the judgment must begin in the house of God. Get ready for your spiritual test. You can pass the test if you keep your eyes on Jesus. If you don't take your eyes off of him, pass the test. You have been listening to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. God bless you.